Hello guys and in this video I'm going to explain how to resolve reverted error on your transaction. Let's talk about the differences between failed transactions and reverted transactions. But first thing is in common to both of these whenever you will be getting error like failed error on your transaction or reverted error on your transaction you will have the same consequences. This means that whenever you will have them you will pay transaction fee anyway. This means that you already have paid to miner however your transaction didn't go through you might ask why firstly is that talking about failed transaction i already have created a video about it as you can see here metamask failed transaction error resolved and in this video i explain why failed transaction is coming through and failed transactions usually come through whenever you don't pay enough gas on your transaction and in this video metamask failed transaction error resolved i explain you how you can check how how much gas you should be actually paying, how you can check how much you are paying on your metamask and how to increase this gas if you don't have enough gas. So failed transaction error usually is related if you are not paying enough gas which you currently should be paying for the transaction. So this is related to blockchain itself and you are not able to buy those tokens because you don't have enough gas on your wallet or you don't have you are not paying enough gas. But reverted transaction and this is not related to gas fees this means that this is not related on blockchain itself but this is related to the project you are buying for example if we talk now about shiba inu you, everyone knows this cryptocurrency that's why i'm mentioning it and shiba inu is built on ethereum blockchain and if you would be buying shiba inu on uniswap you will not be able to do it if you will not change the slippage so reverted transaction error is occurring because you are not having enough slippage whenever you are buying this cryptocurrency and slippage means that that project which has created that particular token in code of that project they have defined some transaction fee which is higher than is set on these dexes like on PancakeSwap for example or on on Uniswap. If you go on PancakeSwap, if we click here on this Kogel icon, you will see that slippage tolerance, this means that slippage is by default set on 0.5%. But if we, for example, go to Uniswap and we click on this Kogel icon, you will see that slippage tolerance or slippage is set to 0.1%. Shiba Inu transaction in the code itself, in the project itself, is set to 10%, guys. So you will not be able to buy Shiba Inu on Uniswap if you are using this slippage 0.1%. Here you would need to set 11% at least guys. 11% for transaction whenever you will be buying Shiba Inu will be deducted from your account. And the same could occur for example if you are selling your assets. If you are selling your Shiba Inu for example on any other project which in code of that particular token code of that particular project they have set this high slippage tolerance or this high transaction fee here you will need to set the slippage you will not be able to sell Shiba Inu from your MetaMask wallet if your slippage on Uniswap will be set to 0.5% which is default setting for these guys so make sure that you check with the project of that particular token how much the slippage should be and to set the slippage you already understood that on for example PancakeSwap whenever you are using these taxis there is also this settings icon or Kogel icon which you can click on and where you can change this slippage it depends on the token project you are interacting with so guys and to wrap it up one more time there are failed transactions and failed is that you are not paying enough gas fee and this is dependent on blockchain you are using for example ethereum blockchain or for example binance smart chain blockchain or avax blockchain or any other blockchains which you are using so from that you would be getting failed transactions but reverted transactions usually are if you are not paying enough slippage so reverted error occurs when you are not adding enough slippage so you always need to check with the project of the token how much slippage should be set to do a transaction for buys whenever you are buying and for sales whenever you are selling that particular token i hope that you get the idea guys and like i mentioned i will leave this metamask failed transaction error this is how you can check and how you can set up like gas fees for transactions if you are interested go and check this video out as well guys so this was my short video on reverted error hope that you get the idea what are the differences between failed transaction and reverted errors and when they are occur and how 
how to solve them. So yes guys, hope that you found this video useful. If you did, leave a like, share this video, subscribe to my channel if you are new and see you in the next one.